Hey, I have a rather stormy yoga workout for you today. Um, we're covering mostly hips, legs, arms, chest and shoulders. Enjoy. Singapore East Coast. Come to the front of the mat. Let's have a nice little yoga workout. We start by warming up the shush hip. Exhale. I hope you have more balance than me. Inhale. And push. Jump. Lower. Push back up. One more time. Lower. Push back up. One more time. Push. Good. And push back. Adho Mukhasvanasana. Lengthen the spine. Jump or step. Lift. Exhale. Lift. Exhale, come forward, interlace your fingers, stretch your arms over your hip. Hands down, lift the chest, jump or step, lower, lift into Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Okay, right leg up, open up. And touch your forehead. Lift up. Touch. Lift. Touch. Stay. Belly in. Okay, I'm going to roll to the left. Right arm up. Open the knee up. And then to the right, keep the knee up, left one more time, knee up, right, and touch your right elbow, your left elbow, lower, right, down, left, up, stretch. Okay, come forward with the leg up, lower, yeah. push back. Beautiful, left leg. In the next round, jump or step, big C. Lift up. Mm, and again, take the other thumb in front, stretch your arms and shoulders, lift, jump back, lower, lift, push back, left leg up, open up, come forward, your forehead. Round your belly in. Lift and come forward. Touch your forehead. Lift. Touch. Left elbow. Lower. You just change the circle. Down. Left. Up. Down. Right. Up. Stretch back and come back in and come to the right side. Turn the knee up. Grab the floor with the right hand. Left hand down. Right arm up. Let's do it one more time. Left knee up. And 
keep the left knee parallel to the floor on the left side. Stretch back. Come forward, lower. Lift, push. Okay, just for fun, let's do one chin stand, riding up each side. Right leg down, push. Left side, come forward. Microphone falling. All right. Relax your head. Jump a step. Lift. Exhale. Lengthen up. And arms down side. Okay. Let's start with legs. Going into horse stance right away. So sit low. So Kung Fu warm up to go into our stance 20 times. So why don't we try that? One, two, engage your quads, your glutes, lower spine long, abdomen in. I think this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's hold it for a moment. I changed my mind. It's too easy. <laughs> lift the chest, lift your arms. Breathe. Left heat up. Keep it up. Belly in. Right heel up. Arms out. Both heels up. Breathe. Chest up. Change. Okay, straighten your legs. Go down left side. It's Relax for a moment. Head forward. Really feel a stretch in your right adductor, AD adductor. Good. Get your arms up. Stretch up. Right side. Relax here for a moment. Lower spine. Feel the stretch in your left adductor. You need to pull by pushing this foot down, right foot, pull this way in the direction of the right foot. And that while you're pushing into the ground, pulling away from the leg, that's when you feel the stretch on the backside on the left. Right? Let's do this a little more dynamic. Arms up, left side. Arms up, right side. Lift, up, right, make sure you're straightening your legs, and last, both sides, good, okay. Now we're not going back into horsey just yet. We're going to do lunch, horsey lunch. Okay? So, sit low. Feel the stretch in your left hip, front thigh. Let's just go lower first. So bend your knee, exhale, straighten it. Try to lower every time. You can also keep your hands here if that's better for you. Straighten. Inhale, lower. Exhale, straighten. Lift the chest away from your thigh. 
lock the knee and mercy switch lock the knee breathe inhale bend the knee exhale straighten it inhale bend the knee exhale straighten it inhale bend the knee <sighs> exhale straighten good ready go twist or move to the right side i should say lift and lower sit do with your arms whatever feels good okay arms out and like best for her see stretch up arms out stretch up now let's twist open twist Let's do three more. Twist. Up. Twist. Don't move too fast because moving fast makes you lose mental connection to your body part and then it gets also less effective but also way less hard. So you're losing on both ends. You're not gonna feel worked out, but you're also gonna not look like it. <laughs> this is the last one. Twist. Open. I feel my thighs. Twist. Good. Stay one more time. Burn it. Breathe. You can bring your hands forward if you like. Mm, and lower. All right, feet together if you can. If not, hip width apart is fine. Just rest for a moment. Try to relax your lower spine. We did warm up your hips quite a bit, so it should feel easier than usual. Good, okay, so I'll do something I haven't done for a while. It was part of my mobility class. Right leg straight, left knee down. I doubled my mat because I'm on the pavement. You do what you need, okay? Ready? Lower and lift with the arms out. So arms forward to lower. Ah, uh, something burns in my eyes. <laughs> exhale. Inhale, exhale. Just hip forward with the exhale. Try to really pull the abdomen towards your spine. When you exhale, it makes it more effective. Especially if you're recovering from surgery or birth. Okay, two more. Very nice. And now we turn the right foot out and you just go into this nice stretch. So the left leg is kind of straight back still. And you just turned out the right and bent the right knee, right? Okay, let's see how much we can do that one. It's intense, even for me. Always when you do things that you don't usually do, you feel it, right? Okay, four. Where are we? Five. Hmm, it feels good too. Not so hard, more stretchy. Okay, let's stay down, since it wasn't so hard. We can at least feel a stretch. Breathe. I'm pushing my left knee down, the inside of my left ankle down. Left. Hip is forward. Don't lose that one. 
right? Okay, hands next to your foot. And straighten the back leg. Ah, good, okay. Stretch forward, exhale. We're just gonna go a few times up and down for now. Open the hip and with the exhale, close it. Meaning bringing the hips in one line parallel to your front. With the inhale open and with the exhale go. Okay, why not? And then try and touch whatever you can touch. If it's your chest to your knee, that's great already. Feel a stretch, flex your foot. Feel more calf stretch. All right, let's do the other side. So, the left leg is straight now. Right leg is back, straight. Hips are forward, try to make this one line, heel and knee. With the inhale, lower, and with the exhale, come forward and up. Lower, up and forward. Exhale, pulling the body to your spine. This seems like a very easy one. If you have a limited hip range of motion, you will feel it a lot. If you're flexy, you won't feel it so much, but still healthy to keep some movement because this is not a normal everyday life movement. Okay, two, one, and return the left foot out and go into the stretch. I feel it mostly in the back leg, but why not? It'll get more harder again, so just have this little breeze here. Exhale, lower into it. We do a few. Try to move mindfully, don't just bounce. Okay, one more, and stay. Right butt is tight. Pushing the right knee down, right ankle down. Internal rotation in the hip. Nothing we do a lot. Right, okay. Straighten both legs. So you keep it open for the inhale and the exhale, you close it up. Inhale. Hexy, roll in, touch the forehead if you can, doesn't matter if it's not happening, that's okay too. Move in, okay, and then stretch. Long, as long as you can, it doesn't matter where you are, you should feel it in the back of your left calf and your hamstring. Push the front inside of the foot down and then flex the foot if you want to change okay good come into a straddle for a moment so we're starting to go into uh, transition between chest and legs. So maybe I should turn around. Well, we'll see. I think I can do it like this too. You shouldn't see me anyway if you're doing it. So we're gonna just straddle up and down 10 times, okay? In tripod, easy peasy. If uh, normal headstand is better for you, okay. You can do. Oh, I get to see the boats one. And just circle as wide as possible. Touch the floor and go back. 
two. Keep the elbows in. If you're doing tripod position, this should be 90 degree. Three. Four, touch it. And lift up. Five. Touch it. Five more, you can do six. Keep the shoulders away from your ears, no reason to tense up. Seven. Eight. Ready? Nine. Last one. Ten. Touch it. Get up. Good. And bring it down again. Very nice. That was a nice transition. And then we're going back to the front of the mat. Bring your knees down. So we'll do some pike push-ups. Uh, <laughs> they're not so easy. Um, even I'm, I haven't mastered them yet, but I think they're awesome. So I'll just share anyway. And if you do them better, wonderful, good for you. And uh, if it's really hard for you, I understand. So let's just, um, let's just try what we can do. The idea of the pike push-ups, you have to go quite close to your hands with the feet. And you come onto your balls of the feet. Bring your feet together and lock your knees. Now you really want to keep the butt up the whole time. The idea is that when you're moving forward, you're basically not doing a lot with your shoulders anymore. You keep them round down, lats engaged. This direction. Okay, elbow in direction. And then you're just trying to bend the elbows, touching the head and going back. Right, that was one, two, keep it on the fingertips, uh, sorry, toe tips, three, four, five. I love to take a break after that. <laughs> Let's just stretch your arm. Your right arm goes around the waist, interlace your fingers. And you're gonna pull the right shoulder down, left elbow in, belly in, chest up, breathe. We'll come back to these. We're just not gonna burn you out. Left arm back. It's funny how when you take time for things, that makes you so much stronger in the end. Like, uh, <laughs> like you can still burn yourself on a very much lower impact level. Doesn't mean the intensity is lower. Pull the belly to the spine. Good. Okay. So we're going to do a transition again, um, something to move the whole body. So you're going to bring your right leg up. You're going to step forward like in a lizard. And then you're going to bring your, your right arm should be wide and you're just going to do five push-ups. It's more hip mobility. There's not so much arm strength but keep the left knee locked, belly in, obviously. Okay, and then you can bring the right leg out and up again. Try not to pull the whole mat back. You want to move and control, left leg up. You move it forehead, forward. It's not so easy, right? Okay, one, two, really wide, wide stance with the hand. Three, four, five. Bring it out and up again. Hmm. I think we should do ikapara. It's too easy. Okay, so right leg up. <laughs> Step forward, Lizette. Bring your right arm underneath. Noah, let's go half time. 
two. Three, four, five. And slowly back. Yeah. There we go. Feels better to keep it slow, a little bit more intensity. And then bring your left elbow in and right leg up. Both legs up, actually. And then come back. There we go. Touch between the big and the second toe uh, of the right foot. Your Achilles tendon. And then bring your right leg up. One, two, relax your neck. Three, four, five, six. Don't throw it, move it. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, just keep it there again between first and second toe. Let's move forward like this. Belly in. Stay and breathe. Ready? Elbows in. Gonna do a full range push up with the chest being in protection first and then going into a almost back bend cobra style. And push it back around out. And Lift the chest while going down. Belly in, round. Third one. Push. Okay. <laughs> Good. Ready? Left side. Up. We're just going to step forward to Mozart. And we wanted to keep it a bit slower. Make your stance wide. The hands one. Two, very slow. Touch, go back. Three. Slow down. Four. Five. Okay. Elbow in. Both legs up. Right shoulder up. And go back. Push back. Bring first and second toe of left foot in your right Achilles tendon stretch back. So you foot should feel your right hamstring and then stretch the left leg up. One. It's not ballistic stretching. We're not throwing the leg up just like that. Three. We're moving consciously. Abdomen to spine a little activated. Five, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, touch again between first and second toe. Come forward, keep the belly up. Ready? Elbows in. One. Almost like a cobra. And you come right out. In a rounding position, protraction, slowly in and out, round. Third one. Okay, push back and relax. Hop forward into a wide squat. And we're just gonna bring your elbows in. On the side, if you know my class, if you know the stretch already, the back side of the hand goes on the outside of the pelvis. And you bring your elbows very, very gently in with the help of your knees. If this is too hard for you in squat, you can sit on your bum, do the same thing. Try to relax, deltoid, triceps. Nick, just breathe. Okay, very slowly come out of this. It's always intense to stretch 
fascia and tendons way harder for us to take. All right, one intermission, feet together, arms up. If you can stand like this, and if not, try your best to keep the arms as high as possible to stay on your heels and again, bring the knees together as much as possible. Maybe you can try and not touch your abdomen to your thighs. All right. Good. Should we do one more, one more five of the um, pike push-ups? I think we should. So. I might just die. <laughs> then you have something to laugh. Okay, bring your feet together. Ball of the foot. Are you ready? Come forward. Oh, bend your elbows. Uh oh. Sounds like his ring is coming. Two. We should get ready. Three. Four. Five. All right. <laughs> we'll do one more drill before I get rained away again. So <laughs> your left foot into a figure four position. Stretch your arms forward. Breathe calm. Sit as low as possible. Good, get up, stretch your arms out and the leg back. And then bend your left knee, grab the outside of the foot with the right hand and twist. You don't have to look back all the way. It's more about the stretch. And then bring it back into figure four. We'll do three on each side. Out. More balance and control. Grab the foot, twist back. Figure four, last one on this side. Go back, arms out, twist. All right, left foot down. <clears throat> Looks a bit stormy now. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Stretch for right. Leg back, arms out. Grab the outside of your foot, stretch. Pick a four. As long as the camera is still standing. Leg back, arms out. Twist. Right, third and last. Stretch your arms forward. And go back, arms out. Grab the foot, kick. Oh dear, let's see. You can do the last one. Uh, it's core and arms, chest and shoulder together. I hope 
my perfume survives. All right, let's go. And then we finish. Push your elbows into the floor, right leg up, left leg up. Now we're just going down and up with the right leg. One. <laughs> Keep pushing. Two. Three. If you can't do it at all like this, you can interlace your fingers. Left leg, one. Two. Push, 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 push. And three. And lower down. All right. <laughs> Little bit side body is missing in core. Let's do one more thing. Go to the side plank, right side. You can just stay like this, it's fine. We're going down with the pelvis. Go slow. Inhale up, arm over. Keep the belly in. Keep it tight, one plane, two. Three. Bring your left foot onto your inner thigh. Stay. Bring your hands down. Let's do one chaturanga. Keep it up. Stay where you are with the foot. Push back. Okay. Left side. <laughs> mm. I'll just change direction for you. Come onto your left hand. You can just turn around. Okay. Right arm up. Lower your pelvis slowly. Arm up over. One more. Keep the belly in. Keep everything engaged. Two. Three. Right foot. Inner thigh. Bring the right hand down. Lower. Lift. Keep the knee up and push back. All right. Let's do one puppy. This is intense. One puppy. Stretch your arms forward. Move down. Elbows forward and in. Very good. Just lay on your back for one last spine twist. <laughs> oh my God, it must ri look ridiculous. It's so hard to keep the mat even on the floor. Okay, bring your right leg over your left leg. Cross once or twice. Let's do one eager crunch. So, since we're here. Touch your foot. Right knee. Breathe. Flex both feet and bring your feet up a little. Ten more, you can do. All right, left leg. Okay, my camera just fell over, so. This is Stormy. I'm just gonna try and finish the class. Keep your forehead to your left knee. Flex both feet, keep the heels up. Keep breathing, pull the belly in. Keep your arms stretching forward. Stay, 10 more seconds. Change. Okay, relax down and bring your knees to the right side. Just try and relax. 
Let your spine relax. Wow, it's beautiful though. It's stormy, but nice. Right leg over, go to the left side. Relax, 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 relax. Mm, the rain is coming. I need to get out, out of here. <laughs> Good. Okay, one last thing. You stretch your arms one more time, so you bring your right arm up, left arm underneath. If you can, grab your hands. Push the head against your arm. If you cannot grab your arms, you just grab your shoulder blade or whatever part of the back that you can reach. Or you take a strap or something, a sweater to hold on to. And then we do this with the other side. Push the head back, belly in, relax. Everything else, relax your triceps. And then shake it out. I wish you a beautiful day. I have to go. <laughs> See you next time. All right, left leg. <laughs> Woo, what a storm. <laughs>